and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azorius Circle. That's right, we're bringing back this Tuesday Bruise Day deck that we played a few weeks ago, uh, maybe, you know, maybe six weeks ago or so. That was pretty fun to play. We're going to try it again. The reason why this deck's called Azorius Circle and what the deck's trying to do is it's built around the Ravnica Allegiance bulk rare Verity Circle. So this enchant three man enchantment, whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. So we want to be able to have our opponent's creatures become tapped and you know not just attacking. So they we want them just to be tapped. Of course, it does have the five mana ability to tap a creature without flying, so it can help out there. But the easiest way to tap your opponent's creatures is, of course, with Gadwick. And Gadwick is obviously just a really strong card, as we know in the format, because it can draw so many draw so many cards. So we have four Gadwicks in here. But that's kind of our combo. Have Gadwick in play, have Verity Circle in play, cast a blue spell during their turn. And, I mean, you can tap it during our turn also, but cast a blue spell during their turn, taps a non-land permanent that they control. Our, our other very easy way to do that is with Depose Deploy, because Depose is two mana, tap target creature, draw card. So if we have um, a Verity Circle in play, this is really tap their creature, draw two. So two mana, draw two. Um, instant speed is pretty powerful. Um, of course, Brazen Borrowers are more ways to cast in, uh, blue spells at instant speed. Same with Opt. Um, another way to tap a creature is with Giant Killer. Just the ability. One in a white, tap it to tap target creature. And of course, we can, use, we can chop down as well, but uh, Giant Killer can kind of just be able to tap creatures also. So that's kind of what this deck's doing. Is that we're just trying to draw a lot of cards with Verity Circle and Gadwick. They're both uh, draw engines and tap some creatures. And then eventually just kind of winning with uh, with our creatures, like Giant Killer, um, Gadwick, Brazen Borrower, Kefnet in the air, and then Deploy. We can gain a good amount of life if we get like some, if we can go wide with Deploy, make some Thopters and stuff like that. Uh, of course, Mass Manipulation is obviously just a wonderful card also for the, the late game, steal some stuff. Um, sideboard wise, we have some more sweepers. There's just the one time wipe in the main. We got some more sweepers over here with some more time wipes, some more Teferis against other instant speed decks, um, some disenchants when we need those, just some good interaction. All right. So that's, that's our deck We're building around Verity Circle. Let's see how this does. Okay. Azoria Circles. So we're going to play a league here. Play till we win five or lose two. With our Tuesday Bruise Day deck. Saturday edition. <laughs> hey, Earl. I love you too. Uh, how do we win against Isaac Control? I don't know. We'll just kind of see. We'll just kind of play the game, see what happens. Waiting on your opponent. It's a pretty difficult decision which player should play first. Pretty difficult decision. We'll have to wait while our opponent makes said decision. Keep. Mm. 
We got the cryptic command sleeves. AKA the four times more expensive Vela Summer. This would be a pretty nice hand to draw Verity Circle. I like to pose deploy, but I really want Verity Circle. We'll see if they play Questing Beast. We'll be able to chop it down. If not, I'll just play like the Kefnet next turn. I'm not going to depose a Foulmire Knight. <laughs> Whoops, Z guard. Whoops. Yeah, Steve Supremo, just in time for Azoria Circle. We need more circle, though. We got the rest of the stuff. Just not enough circles. Murr. They probably just have a removal spell up. Maybe I just deploy. They attack with these things again, and I just deploy. Um, yeah, I think Ardenvale, yeah, Ardenvale Tactician, Law Rune Enforcer, I think those are just a little too gimmicky. Not strong enough individual cards. You still want to have, you know, a good solid deck for whenever you don't have, whenever you don't have the uh, Verity Circle. All right, so we'll just play Settle the Wreckage. That's standard legal now. Opponent got settled. And I'm just using the Fable Passage to get more lands out of the deck. Yeah, except for they didn't get lands and I gained a life. So just the new and improved Settle the Wreckage. Just trade, put the Kefnet back. Of course, I could I could have tapped the Questing Beast, but then if I do that, then maybe they just kill my Kefnet, and I don't know. Life, everything's kind of a little annoying. We'll just we'll do the trade. Bad order of midnight. Or alter fate. <laughs> they swift ended the poor giant killer. 
So that's why I didn't just sit back and tap it. Let's see, draw four. Because I also want to tap out for Gadwick, right? Like, I want to just play a Gadwick and draw a ton of cards. And so I can't just... Um, so I can't just, like, try to sit back there and tap the thing the whole time. This deck can play some defense. Tap. Draw. Draw a card for Verity Circle. Uh, counter this. Tap. Draw a card. Oh yeah, it is a May, so you have to click OK. Yeah, I want another Verity Circle. Hmm. Tap. Card. Oh, yeah, it stacks. Oh, yeah. Draw a card. Draw a card. Ah, we'll figure it out. We don't need a Jace. We'll figure out how to kill them before we mill. We are kind of tapping all their stuff anyway. Oh, whoops. I guess I didn't need to reveal that. That's pretty sweet. Verity Circle. <laughs> Scoose him up. All right. So I don't think we really need the Teferis. Those can go. I think I want extra Vetoes. So all their adventure creatures can all get vetoed. I could play a second Time Wipe. Could play a second Time Wipe. Maybe we just go two Gus, three Veto. Hmm. Let's go with a time wipe over a killer. Uh, 
All right. Cut mass manipulation. What? It's like our main win con. That card's so good. That card's so good. <laughs> yeah, you have all the cards except the circle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thing about this deck. It's like, uh, do I really want to use four wild cards on Verity Circle? I can, I can understand not wanting to do that. For sure. What are we gonna manipulate? I probably like the, I don't know, Questing Beasts and Vivians and. We're gonna take a bunch of stuff because you know, like we just. We just try to play a super long game. And whenever you have like 12 mana, you just take stuff. Stuff is good to take. How does your opponent win after you cast mass manipulation and take all of their stuff? That's the real question. Darn, they had an extra 1-1. One, one. All right, taking seven. Ouchie. It's like, I can, of course, depose, tap a couple of things. We could also bounce this token, this 1-1 one, one token, if they don't play another thing, then they can't attack with Lovestruck Beast. So it kind of depends on what they play. And yet. <laughs> yeah, this, this deck's probably pretty frustrating to play against. I'm just gonna go brazen borrower, bounce or tap the questing beast, draw a card, and then just have my brazen borrower block the order of midnight. I still have absorb for something if they play something we need to absorb. That is not something I need to absorb.
<laughs> Just can't get through this 3 3. Um, how do we deal with this? Draw card. <laughs> there we go. Azoria Circle, just getting so many cards. Tap their thing, draw a card. Tap, draw a card. This is the the Caddyshack deck. Just just tap it in. Just just tap tap it in. Hundred percent positive that was a rage quit, yeah. Yep. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for the, for gifting out the sub and legit so welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying all the awesome emotes you get to use now. Or happy Gilmore. Uh wrong golf movie. That was close. Okay, you just played against the the Abzan Bugler deck as final boss to Mythic, and you got dumpstered hard. Oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't read I didn't read the rest of that comment before I started reading it. Uh, I'm sorry. What were you playing? And he lands. There's land. This thing having hexproof during their turn is pretty annoying. We'll probably have to steal it. Kind of just want to bounce it now. I guess I should have kept I should have kept the Dovin's veto cuz really like the card that I'm worried about is like Domri's ambush that I can't do anything about. I probably should have just kept the veto. I just I just didn't have a land. You know, like that's why I didn't keep it is cuz I didn't have a land drop. So unfortunately they did have ambush.
so we're probably stealing the Spellbreaker here. But I guess I could just Giant Killer it as well on my turn. Wonder why they shocked in. Yeah, let's just try and kill her this thing. We'll chop it down. So then I can be able to steal two things if we draw land. Playing around Quench. That could be it. They could have played around Quench. Chop. Chop. Yeah, Spellbreaker is really annoying, having Hexproof during their turn when, you know, the goal of my deck is to tap their stuff. It's an annoying one. I wonder if Arturo Power here is, is playing the Gruul Henge I wonder if they're playing my Gruul Henge deck. Nope, they're not. I was, I was wondering that because of the Incubation Druid. But nope, guess not. Answers that one. Yeah, one damage isn't that important. We'll just play defense for some... In case some weird scenario comes up where I really want to block. I don't know what that would look like. Yeah, mass manipulation really is rude. Uh, agree. Whoa. Speaking of rude... Four, five, six, seven. Uh, so I can draw four. Oh, Incubation Druid. I could have drawn another card. Right, that thing adds mana. I wanted to be able to have the... Giant killer be able to tap the Hellkite. I guess I have the Incubation Druid that can jump block now. No, ETB triggers do trigger with Ilharg, yes. It's... Yes, that happens because the, the creature enters the battlefield. It's the attack trigger like Dracuseth. That does not trigger with Ilharg. All right, we'll play the Time Wipes, play a couple Ether Gust. Um, 
Here are these time ravelers. I don't think I really need to play devout decree, even though I guess you know it's it's not the worst. Can do some stuff. So do I want to play Devout Decree over any of these other cards? Nah. Nah. Cut mass manipulation. Oh, that card's great. Why does everybody always want me to cut mass manipulation? Card wins games. <laughs> it is too strong. I agree with that. Those things have hex proof. Whoa, just putting it down to the bottom. Getting it out of here. Gone for good. What's up, Shame? Thanks for that 11th month sub there. Thanks, thanks so much there, Shame. All right. How do we want to do this? I'm not sure. I guess I'm not playing Kefnet. My plan kind of was to play Kefnet here. I guess that's not my plan now. I guess my plan is play giant, play the swift end thing, play the giant killer, then I can pick giant killer back up to be able to use it again. Now we get to swift end again. Or whatever the whatever this thing's called. Chop down. Chop down again. Yeah, we had to get the chopper back. Get that chopper back. 
get to the chopper back. Of course, that gives Paradise Druid, like, you know, just pumps up Paradise Druid a little bit, but Paradise Druid has, would have Hexproof and a Vigilance, so we wouldn't be able to bounce the Druid. This is kind of a tough call for them. If they put it back on top, you know, they've been missing land drops, so yeah, they don't put it back on top. I was going to say, if they do put it back on top, then we'll just um, bounce the Mana Creature, but we're going to bounce the Mana Creature anyway. Verity Circle. So now if they if they add mana with Incubation Druid, I draw a card. Because you know, like this is whenever if their creature becomes tapped and not attacking. So they use it as a mana creature, I draw a card. I can also just tap him myself, though. <laughs> yeah, now you get why Brazen Borrower is mythic. Yeah, it's it's pretty pushed card there. Land is really nice. Let's me hold up Verity Circle activation. Together we will prevail. The land fights for us. Yeah, I want to draw a card. What kind of question is that? This deck is sweet. <laughs> Alright, I'll need these shock lands and get out of here. That was, yeah, that was brutal. That sequence. Oh, we had everybody in chat love it. That was, that was awesome. Two and O. Oh. Azorius Circle. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, Verity Circle is so good against mana creatures and Nissa. Yeah, you you, tr you want to tap your lands that are mana <clears throat> that are creatures now. You want to tap them for mana. Well, I'm gonna draw some cards. I bounced the Nissa with the Brazen Borrower that I put back into my hand after the three mana time wipe that was revealed off of um, Kefnet because I got to draw cards because they tapped their mana creatures. I don't know how I don't think this I don't know how good this deck would do against you know witches oven just putting cauldron familiar back into play over and over like where that doesn't need to attack you admittedly 
as long as we keep playing against the creature decks. Like, that's... You know, we played against two creature decks here so far. And our decks looked awesome. I'm going to keep playing against those. I don't really know what's going on over here with this Opt. Or, sorry, with this Witch, Witch Claw Talisman. Yeah, it's probably a Doom for Toll deck. Yeah, most likely Esper if they have Wish Claw Talisman. Can only activate this during my turn. Let's try this. What? I just want to land drop here. Now they got eight cards, got a discard. This might be a bad idea. Uh, I've just been playing a lot of ranked recently and just kind of felt like playing some leagues. Don't worry, I got this. I was like, why, why didn't I play the Gruel deck in ranked? That's like all of, that's all three of my, all three of my lands that don't add blue are in play. I only have three lands that don't add blue. They're all in play currently. Jeez. That's not that big a deal. I got Gadwick. Refill. Oh, I've done the hero thing. And suddenly I have like just as many cards as they do. Okay. I won't try to win with one one. It's fine. I've got it. I hear ya. At least we got all the Verity Circles. Here we go. Hmm.
Yeah, actually doing like the lethal damage is going to be tough. Honestly. I guess I have brazen borrowers that can bounce those things and I can steal stuff. Yeah, I'll just steal them all. Yeah, this is two mana draw five now. What is this? Alright, I guess they're... They have fortified their provisions. Trust me, I have a plan. Doubt it. Yeah, I'm gonna have just too many cards now. Sure. All right, we'll destroy this thing. Tap this, draw five, draw four. <laughs> I just have infinite draw fours. I mean, I, I guess I really don't need to draw this many cards. All right, whatever, I'll just decline. Why am I declining? Draw a card. Hey, I sure do love memes with the sub. Thank you so much there, Frisky Biscuits. Santa Frisky there. Um. And it just kills him. Just kills him on the spot. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, that's yep, that's the plan is bounce the ethereal absolutions and counter them. That's the plan. I just got rid of those two creatures first. I also got a card out of my hand. I've got time. I guess I could have played the giant killer there. This, this giant killer. Where am I at? 27 cards? Am 
My creature is destroyed. And now they got a flying creature. I can't just tap with Verity Circle. Oh, right. I get to do that. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat little party trick. Need a counter spell. There we go. No, we don't really need a board wipe. We got Gadwick. I like these things. We can we can tap down so many stuff, so much stuff. We good. Sixteen cards. Draw four. Uh, it's crazy. So much draw. Getting four Verity Circles in play. I know my responsibility. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're good. We stabilized. Just kind of had to get rid of those Ethereal Absolutions. Draw four. It's like, no, I really don't need to draw four. Sure. All right, I'm at 11 cards. Oh, we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we'll cast Deploy. Oh, I should have tapped the Heretic Banner, but oh well.
Oh, they didn't sack their food. They could have sacked the food. Gain three life. Stayed alive. All right, probably want some disenchants. I mean, Ethereal Absolution is definitely the scariest card. Get rid of the Ether Gust. I mean, I guess they did, they did play that card that like got rid of all of my stuff. That card was annoying. That six mana can't be countered thing. That was annoying. All right, that looks good. Um, yeah, Golgari Adventure is really good. Obviously, we don't really like seeing both mass manipulations right there. We're kind of on a mold of five... We have the, the four Fable Passages that can shuffle. We can go find those later. But that first hand was basically like a five card hand. Put your last card from Cyborg in. You would have put, you would have put more time wipes in. This, that's the thing is like they have the afterlife creatures. I thought about just boarding out time wipe. I don't know what that does. It's gonna get countered. Because I don't, I don't even know if I really want to ever cast Time Wipe. Because, yeah, they just have, like, the afterlife creatures. I, I probably should have just sideboarded it out. It's like their creatures dying doesn't really help me. I don't think I want to kill any of their creatures. Yeah, the stand. Yeah, the sound is a bit staticky. I'm still working on trying to figure out how to fix that, but so I apologize. Hopefully, soon, in the coming days, I'll be able to figure that out. Well, basically, I'm, I'm going to try something tomorrow before the stream. I'm going to go to the the website for this thing and see if they have any drivers to update. Let's see if that fixes it. Thin in the deck. Yeah, definitely looking for Gadwick. Kefnet will do.
That hurts. Wow. That would have been a good card to reveal off of Kefnet. I don't need time wipe. We're perfectly fine here. Human. That icon of ancestry hurts because you know I was definitely planning on destroying both these heraldic banners. That hurts. Cause that just gave me another thing that I needed to destroy. Party Panda, yes, I will absolutely play that cool mono red deck you found in best of three. Absolutely. Yeah, send me the deck list. And I will play it. I will play it soon. Uh yeah, basically what what day and what what day and what time slot would you like me to play the deck also? There, Panda. Okay, so tomorrow, Party Panda getting the gifted sub also from Frisky Biscuits. Thank you. So yeah, tomorrow, second, third, or fourth slot. The first slot tomorrow is taken up. But um, second, third, or fourth tomorrow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, I got this extra one here. That is the card. Got time. <laughs> I 
So yeah, we, we got this. So three. protect you all right we're three now stabilized Yeah, you can just you just put the link in chat. That works. Um, you can also you can also send it to me if you want to just whisper it to me. If you don't want it in chat, either way, there I just I just said hi in chat, so you can click on my name and whisper it to me. Either way, I'll I'll just save it for tomorrow. And then let me know. Um, so tomorrow I'm starting out. Tomorrow is Sunday. Uh, the Sunday matinee stream, so I'm starting at 1 Eastern, starting early, going from 1 to 8 instead of 3 to 10. And um, I'll be awesome. And, and like I said, the first the first slot right away at 1 o'clock is taken up. But then besides that, second, third, or fourth slot, those are all open. Whichever one you want. Second, okay. All right, so we have a Demir mill control for first and then a mono red. The lightning bolt sleeves, okay. Oh, wait, wait, oh no. Oh, that was just a different thing. Jeskai. Uh, Skid said, you played with the lightning bolt sleeves as well and if so which ones do you prefer of the two? I think it depends on like the color of your deck and everything. Um, you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Let's try this. No, prison realm. Fairy's a problem. <laughs> That's more like it. It's okay, Panda. Yeah, so I just I sent you a, a message there. Looks like my opponent is not playing too many lands. Don't worry, I got this. Perfect.
Perfect, Panda, I got it. Thank you, see ya. I'll... Um, I'll play that one tomorrow, second slot. Oh, thank you. So it looks like with with them playing Ninja Player Beacon, looks like they're the Planeswalker heavy deck, not the Cavaliers and Creature deck. No, I am not making this up as I go. Which makes keeping the giant killer worse, but you basically always see the Cavalier version. Of course I can't Dovin's veto anything right now. We can't play any instance, either one of us. a bad idea. Also certainly makes I've got it. Um I don't know, like cause like Brazen Bar or bounce the prison realm, but then they just replay it. I don't know. Phase you out of time. Oh, Looks I like they probably just have a lot of before. sweepers in hand and removal spells and stuff like that. Here we go. <laughs> I train every day. No. Keep an open mind. They're gonna make a creature I can tap. No attack on my Teferi. Might demands power. Darn. Unfortunately, this is only without flying. Those creatures have flying. All right, so my Teferi's down. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. <laughs> no, my Gadwicks. <laughs> Magnificent. I think I'd rather have Narset on my side than Teferi, because Teferi doesn't help as much whenever they have Fires of Invention anyway. But now we got the veto. I guess I'll play this first. Oh 
got to counter that. How many games do we play with the deck usually? If we're playing in ranked, we'll play f either four or five matches, depending on time. If uh, otherwise, so we either do that or we play a league. And this here, we're playing a league. And the leagues we play till you either win it to, sorry, sorry. You play till you win five or lose two, whichever happens first. And so that's what we're currently doing right now. Playing until we win five or lose two. Even if this other card answers these for somehow, we'd still have five power in the air. I can make it eight power by bouncing the other prison realm. All right, so disenchant. Decree can get rid of Sarkin. Unfortunately, this is just not a Verity Circle matchup because they're not playing creatures. So it's just like it's just like a card that doesn't do anything. Mass manipulation is pretty good. Yeah, decree, decree can take out a Sarkin. I don't know. I like all these cards though. We gotta take one out. And Chandra, that's true. Chandra will be problematic. Sarkin, I'm not too worried about Sarkin because it's pretty easy to kill Sarkin. But Chandra, it's a lot harder to kill him. Yeah, it's all about like what kind of instance they have as far as my Teferi is concerned. It's true that there's not a whole lot of great stuff to bounce. I guess I could trim a Teferi. It's about what kind of like the Sarkin, them Sarkin minusing putting a token into play. That's like the best thing to bounce. I probably don't need all four. It, of course, they're playing Fires of Invention though, so they can't play lots of instants. But usually after sideboard, they still play a bunch of instants. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. We didn't have to cut one. We got a 61. The lucky 61. Looks like they have Mystical Dispute, which is going to be difficult for me to deal with. Definitely have dispute. Hmm. 
Yeah, because now they can't, you know, they can only play just the two spells because of fires. Clearing out a lot of lands from the deck. They're going to play a sweeper here, which is kind of likely. I'd rather them kill the Kefnet. Then kill Gadwick. Basically, you know, just wait one more turn. I get to draw an extra card. They may have, like, boarded out their sweepers, too. Ugh. Of course, I did... Didn't want to Fable Passage and shuffle the Kefnet. No sword can pierce my scales. Behold! Well, that's my best thing to bounce with the fairy. I could certainly see them going and trying to get a planar cleansing. Listen to the Come on. How do I want to deal with this fires? Like, it's a good time to bounce a fires. Guess not now. Why is Bouncing a Fire's mistake here? They've already played one spell, so like they could still play the Time Wipe, which that's you know pretty obvious. Like they want to play the Time Wipe, but that takes you know that's five mana. They'd only have two left. Um, they can play another card, but the Fire's in their hand. You know, like they could play a, a, the Fay of Wishes back. 
We don't have to worry about them playing like counter magic because we have the Teferi. Yeah, so for this turn, yes, for this turn, they get to cast a Fae of Wishes, so it's better for them this turn, but then following turn, it's going to be a lot worse for them, because the fire is in their hand and not in play. So yeah, they like they get to yeah they got the the, the fay there, but <clears throat> now it's worse for them. So they're at seven. I have seven power and play. Convenient. I'd, I'd tap that wrong. I'd keep it blue up because I could hit opt or, or depose or something, but whatever. It's We're lethal. There was that mystical dispute they had since turn one. I'll protect you. All right, and we are four zero. On to the final boss. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, Minasaur. I think that I think that uh, Cauldron Familiar would be a, a difficult match for us, honestly. That's not something I'd really want to play too much with the deck. I, you know, we haven't we haven't faced it yet here. But anyway, here we go. Final boss time. Love it. Everybody's getting the getting the final boss emotes in the chat. Yeah, Planar Cleansing is awesome against uh, the Sacrifice decks, for sure. It's great. Uh, that's Talked about that with, like, the Mardu Control. Like, the Mardu Control, we had two um, Planar Cleansings in that deck, but we really needed four in the 75. Because, yeah, that card is awesome. Oh, I don't I don't know what the last song was, I'm sorry. Cuz I I can't really tell now cuz Now that we switch playlist. Yeah, planar cleansing is definitely worth crafting if you like blue eye control. Yeah, it's it's awesome. We got some Bant here. We got some four color. Let's slow this. Let's try this. Teferi's just over here trying everything. Yep. Don't worry. 
I got it. At least there's creatures for us to draw cards whenever they get tapped. I've got time. Hmm. Pretty annoying. There's there's nothing you know, I don't want to bounce Knight of Autumn or you know right now I don't want to bounce Knight of Autumn with having the circle in play and I don't really want to bounce fires. Oh well this isn't a fight you can Hey give give me Zan Grief. Re seven here, five months. Thank you so much. Trust me, I have a plan. You are amazing. What? That sub... Today's storm count's 24? How am I so far behind? I just... We've had gifted subs, and I just haven't been... <laughs> haven't been updating them, I guess. Whoops. Yeah, I've been too, too focused on the games here. have our disenchants on the board because of course them having fires or not having fires is a pretty big difference obviously These brazen borrowers I don't really want. It's ten power. Thank you, Shaf. Thanks for that tier one sub. It's like I don't think I can really just Gadwick. They'd have ten power in play. I've also getting that resub in here, sub number 25 on the day.
I don't know. I don't want this card. Is Brazen Borrower going to be get any good? Hey, okay. <coughs> yeah, that yeah. Them having creatures is good. MHC Twitch Prime sub. The the Teferi really, really, really hurts. That's that's the card that. Yeah, you know, I I really want to play the instant speed games. The Teferi is a huge, huge problem. That's a card that hurt more than any other card there. card I'm like the most worried about. Obviously Niv and Niv, Casualties of War, like, those are obviously some big hitters. But if we can't play our instant speed game because of Teferi, we're going to be in trouble. No, there's no cards that I want to see banned in Standard. Hope it's not Teferi here. Really, really hope it's not Teferi bounce calf net. Ceratops is fine. I think my opponent probably has a casualties of war here. It's not like I could I could like just hold up mana to kind of represent a counter spell, but where they're at, they're gonna be just they're just gonna be jamming. They're not gonna be playing around a counter spell at this point. I'm known for my excellent type. Trust me, I have a plan. Well that really hurts. That really hurts.
Obviously, the Ceratops can block the Borrower. I would have rather they played Casualties of War. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I mean, now they're going to. They got the Teferi in play first. Ugh. My deck definitely struggles against Teferi in play. That's for sure. Kefnet in particular. Kefnet basically doesn't do anything anymore. Hey, Crazy Pyro! protect you what's up crazy pyro thanks for resubbing uh dovin's veto can only counter non-creatures and ceratops is a creature also ceratops can't be countered anyway yeah and i, I didn't have veto in my hand at the time that ceratops was cast um, yeah, you can only, you have to cast this, like, with, when the spell is on the stack. But, to fairy end of this game. I mean, yeah, Ceratops was awesome. It's true. Like, Ceratops was... was a huge problem. Alright, we had an extra life, though. Yeah, protection from blue. Final boss part two. All right, second final boss. I'm gonna go ahead and Fabled Passage right away to grab Island. We can get this brazen bar we're going. So Verity Circle in play, and then play Gadwick, and then play Blue Spells, tap stuff, draw cards. That may be a little slow here. Like maybe I'd need to be, you know, doing Ether Gust opt here, and then play Gadwick, and then play Verity Circle after Gadwick. Honestly, it's maybe a little. A 
little greedy of me to get the Verity Circle in play right now. I love it. Every time I play Verity Circle, the opponent's like, what is this? Okay. <laughs> Dang. I know. That's how I feel too, Hawkeye, with Gadwick dying. I feel ya. Alright. More surferens. Sorry, I'm late. No, I am not making this up as I go. That was good drawing a lance. We get to keep up Raisin Borrower in case of a, another uh, collision colossus. Yeah, I could have done the instant speed mass manipulation too. That's true. Maybe maybe that's the better play than Gadwick. Like, you know, like this this gets to tap one thing, and I have two creatures back on defense also. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the best. He's <laughs> putting his head down today. Just putting his head against the table, basically. I can, I can scratch your head, too. Verity Circle, drawn cards.
I got this. All right, yeah, we'll go. We'll go mass manipulation this turn. We'll take the questing beast, tap the goblin. Could also just play borrower to tap questing beast, and then have veto available for a spell. I guess, I guess it's probably the safest just to play the island here and then have borrower tap that giant killer tap this and then have veto still available. I guess that was technically the safest. So this should be fine. Oh right, they ca they can't play instance anyway because it's a fairy. Right, never mind. They can't just play a whole bunch of colossuses or anything. Yeah. The fairy. See, I like whenever we play decks like this. Decks with a lot of creatures and, and decks without Teferi. So we can play our instants. That was not fun against the last opponent that didn't let us play instants. Yeah, we got about an hour and a half left in the 12-hour the stream. We did have to re restart the stream. We had some technical difficulties early on uh, with the camera. We figured it out, though. Um, so that, yeah, so our uptime is off by a half hour. So obviously we want Ether Gust. We're just gonna take out Teferi, play Ether Gust. I think that's it. I don't think we really need more time wipes. Basically, because they they just have too much haste and stuff. We'll just play the one, that's good enough. All right, CDN4, I'll see you later. You, you want to scratch right there? Let's see. All right, we'll give it a try. Yeah, Ceratops is going to be annoying. I guess that's a reason to play more time wipes as Ceratops. Where's our lands? Can do this to draw an extra card to look for a land drop. Even though it's only one damage. Well then. No, we'll just go to discard. I don't need a second manipulation. I probably could have just discarded a Verity Circle. We're not going to have time to play all those Verity Circles. This card's a little worse than Ceratops. Dang. Um, this blue-white is worse versus Jun Sacrifice than normal blue-white. We struggle against, you know, the Witches of and Cauldron Familiar combos pretty good against us. Yep, sometimes you get mana screwed on 26 lands. All 
All right, I'll just take the fourth circle out for a time wipe. The circle may be a tad slow. We'll play one more time wipe. Circle's so cool, though. That's what our deck's built. That's, that's the deck name. Yeah, this is from Super Smash Bros. It was, I mean, it's, it's from the Legend of Zelda. It's the temple theme from Legend of Zelda, but... Yeah, that, that's where I basically know it, too, is from playing Super Smash Bros. on the GameCube, the Hyrule. Hyrule Temple stage. So I'm going to bounce with Borrower and Cast Opt to look for land. Get some more lands. Hey, Bleeding Black. Going good. We had a real fun day of magic so far tonight. I mean, not really so far, but like just all day. Had a lot of good decks. Even like some of these ones that we went, like in the middle here, that we went 2-2 two, two, and 1-2. and two. I, I really like those decks. Even if we didn't have the, the best tracker with them. Dang, they have the combo again. So much damage. So I could have played the Brazen Borrower there, and that was that was my plan, honestly, until I drew the Gadwick. But after drawing the Gadwick, um, saving this is another thing that can tap that can tap a creature. They just did too much damage here with this collision. I wasn't dead to Embercleave. Like we were like they weren't gonna be able to attack this this next turn, but yeah, I was dead to removal spell like this. I mean, well, I guess I'm not. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. I guess I'm not dead. To just bounce during their turn. I should have drawn one card. I should have drawn one card.
So that was kind of the price of, of playing the Verity Circle. I tapped out for that turn to play Verity Circle, and it allowed my opponent to do all that damage. You know, they just had a Surf Aaron in play, and they attacked for 14. And that was, of course, just the difference. That just that just put me down to too, to too little life. If I don't play the Verity Circle, they, they don't get to attack for all that. All right, so four and two. Ah, not four and 23. <laughs> That'd be a little worse there. Um. There we go, back to our normal playlist. Hey, Drug Wizard, 11 month resub. Thank you so much there, Wizard. Okay, so that was um, so that was Azoria Circle. Fun deck to play. It's not one of the best decks, but you get to do some crazy stuff with Verity Circle playing against the creatures. That was a matchup, though, that I, I think that we should have done pretty good against that last one. I, I regret how that one turned out. Obviously, we, we just didn't get to play Magic the second game. And then the third game playing the Verity Circle when I did and tapping out and not leaving the two mana up um, led my, my opponent had a combo where they had, you know, a 2-2 two -two in play and then they attacked for 14. And that was that was pretty rough. Um, so, so we ended up losing that one. But I think that was a pretty winnable one. But besides that, you, you got to see us do a lot of cool stuff with the deck. Got to do a lot of fun things. Um, I'm not sure, like, to obviously Teferi was a huge problem. Um, so, I, yeah, like, Teferi is just kind of a big problem because we want to play an instant speed game. Decks that, not, that are not playing creatures are also, like, we. it's definitely better for us whenever our opponents are playing creatures. Um, but that, that showing against Golgari Adventures, that was a really good showing, the first match. And then, like, Gruul, the second match after that, um, got to do some really cool stuff. Um, I think that Witch's Oven... Cauldron Familiar would be a, a pretty big problem with the deck, to be honest. Um, it's just, you know, they don't, they don't need to attack. They can just sit back and, and sacrifice and make you lose life over and over and over again. And, and that, that would be something I really wouldn't want to play against. But yeah, good. Not a bad result for Verity Circle at all. Good showing for this enchantment. All right, uh, that's Azoria Circle, though. So those of y'all on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this video with Verity Circle. Hope you hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave comments. Let me know what you think about the deck and all that kind of stuff. But thanks so much for watching some Azoria Circle, and I'll see you for the next video.